Hey guys, this is how my makeup would be every day if I was a superhero. I've thought about that, cause you know, it's too much. It's too much, but I love it. I thought we'd have a lot of fun today. I'm gonna talk about um, all of my favorites that I love and use still from the Chopping Block series. And Max is going to help us, it looks like. Anyway, I thought what we'd do is kind of a roundup. Now, if you're not familiar with the Chopping Block series, it's, uh, I've done, I'm on my eighth version. And basically what I do is I show a bunch of new, new to me and new to kind of everyone products, uh, a mixture. And um, I haul everything first, and then after using it for around 10 days, I tell you what I think about it. I kind of review it and let you know if I think it's kind of worth the money or not. Um, you know, to me, and everybody chimes in in the comments, which I think is great. But I thought what be, would be really good is kind of showing you after like doing seven cycles. I'm on my eighth right now, but through the first seven cycles, what I've really found to be something that has been kind of essential to my um, beauty stash and things that I use constantly. I'm wearing some of them and I just thought it would be great to do a recap if you aren't familiar with the series or if you are, it's kind of nice to check in and find out what I really am using and getting the most use out of. I thought. So yeah, this is superhero look. You like this? I bet a lot of you know what's on my lips. Um, yeah, I think about things like that. Being a superhero, I think about it all the time. I used to wear a cape as a kid. I was the girl that people, you know, had over their house, their mom liked, um, except for my one friend. Oh my God. Her mom would give us these limits on cookies. She'd be like, you can have two chips ahoys a piece and I would eat three. And she would tell my mother and my mother was like, really, three chips ahoys? Y'all, some of y'all know my mom. My mom was like, really, three chips ahoys? You worried about that girl? And then I was like, mom, but she brings boys in her house from the bus stop every day. So who's worse? Not me. The three cookie girls, not worse. Let's get right into it. This foundation, um, there are two foundations I'm going to tell you about that are fantastic, and um, I use them so much. Smashbox's Liquid Halo Foundation. This is um, the shade number nine. This is like my favorite. I know I'm going to be rocking this all winter long. It comes with a pump. It is just gives you the nicest, glowiest finish. Now, today I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs because that's part of uh, the Chopping Block 8, and... I'm thinking it looks good. Max, leave Jinx alone, please. Anyway, this is just a great glowy foundation. I have combination skin. So fall, spring is really gonna be the time that I'm gonna get them, fall, winter is gonna be the time that I get the most use out of this, I think. I couldn't wait. I tested it during the summer and I just knew it was so fantastic and it was gonna become a staple. And it has. I wear this quite a bit when I'm not testing out other things. So Smashbox Liquid Halo, fantastic. Um, the other foundation that I'll tell you about is a powder foundation. And this was a surprise to me. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but I love it. It is Tarte's um, Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush, uh, Airbrush Foundation. It's in the shade Rich for me. Um, it's available QVC Ulta. Uh, it's a fantastic powder foundation. I love the little kabuki that um, I got with it on QVC. If you order it, you can get the kabuki with the foundation for a really re decent price. Anyway, it's a great, great foundation. Wears all day. It's something that I have in my uh, bathroom for days that I usually wear my Iman BB cream or this on days that I'm not really doing it up, you know, seriously. Um, you know, Sundays, things like that. When I'm just doing a little bit and going to Walmart, this is what I use. I love this Tarte foundation, it's fantastic. Some other things, uh, concealer, while we're talking about face products, concealer. This is my end all be all concealer. It's from IT, it's Bye Bye Under Eye, and it's just fantastic. Um, it's like concealer and corrector in one, that's why I like it. I have the shade Rich, and uh, I can't tell you enough things about it. It's just fabulous. That's what it looks like inside. Um, it's very, very concentrated, so you don't need that much. And um, I'm not one to do, as you probably noticed in videos, I'm not one to go overboard with the under eye stuff. Um, I don't like that super light look, which is fine. You know, if you do, you like it, it's fine. Uh, but I love what this does for me because it looks very, very natural, um, everyday kind of a thing. And, you know, I use it in videos. I don't stress over concealer, I really don't. It's a little late in the day and it's getting really, really hot in here, so I have to take powder breaks. But what do I take my powder breaks with? Something else that I wanna show you. Stila Stay All Day Prime and Anti-Shine Balm. Now, I'm a long, die-hard fan of Mally's, um, what is it, Evercolor? I've told you guys about it, poreless stuff, but I love this stuff too. Um, it's from Stila and it's a little bit cheaper and it's about 30 bucks and I just love 
touching up with it. It's a really, really nice product. It really doesn't leave an, uh, a color to your skin after you press it on, which is really, really important, especially if you have darker skin like me. A lot of products give an ashy cast to my skin, which I detest, and uh, this doesn't do that. Y'all didn't tell me I had a little lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, love this. 30 bucks. It's fantastic. It's going to be on standby because, like I said, it's hot in here. This is a great, great uh, foundation stick. It's from Maybelline. It's the Shine Free um, Foundation Stick. What is it? Oh, I dropped it. Foundation. Yeah, Shine Free Foundation. It's it got an anti-shine core. Um, I have the color 355. I love this. This is so good. This is another thing that I use on days that I need to be very, very quick. I mean, you can basically draw on your face, blend it in, and go. So I really, really love this stuff from Maybelline. Um, wasn't a really big fan of the Fit Me line, but I'm finding that there are some really great products in it, and this is a fantastic addition. Next, uh, also at the drugstore, CoverGirl has these individual eyeshadows, and I love them. Now, I only have two colors, but I'll tell you, I have 355, and uh, 330 and I got these for three dollars a piece so very very great colors these two colors work really well together again 355 and 330 the pigmentation is fantastic I always use primer but they last all day really really nice individual shadows not a lot of colors that I like but those two work for me and I have used them a lot since um, the video next Giorgio Armani and I wore this recently in my best from the brand Giorgio Armani video this is one of the uh, lip maestros it's a matte gloss and it is just fantastic I'll swatch it for you when I was wearing this in that video you guys were like oh my god and it is oh my god it really really is it's such a great lip color I love it this is a really really good liquid liner I live by liquid liner I used a uh, pen uh, pencil today and but usually every day I'm liquid liner girl this is from Jessie's girl and it's relatively new and it's fantastic look at the tip I mean this is better than some serious high-end brands um, that are out there because I've tried them as well. So I love Jessie's Girl Liner. It's great. Bobbi Brown has um, long wear cream shadow sticks, and I think that she came out with them this year, so they're pretty really relatively new. And this is the color Forest, and it's the one I use the most because you all know I have a thing for green. And it is just gorgeous on. Um, such a beautiful look. Such a beautiful look can be created. This is from Tarte. This is their um, newer product, the... Um, the brow architect and this is just really cool you get a spoolie all right did you see that you get a spoolie you get this is great depending on the color you order and mine is deep um you get this is for your um upper you know brow area i put it right up in here and uh, because i have deep that's the darkest shade they have so if you have lighter skin and you order a lighter color you'll get a different color powder uh to use on your upper lid and this is the actual brow pencil and it's just a great color I love it I use this darn thing practically every day now see it isn't too dark um, and again I have the shade deep alright blush I have a blush that I've been using a lot and I'm wearing it today it is the uh, Chanel they came out with these new um, cream blushes this is the color let's see fantastic number 66 Beautiful, beautiful, bright blush color. Looks gorgeous on the cheeks. I love, love, love it. And the swatch of it is just, I mean, look at that. Just gorgeous. I love this color. Now, if you're afraid of cream blushes, you just tap. You, I just use my like middle finger and tap them into my cheek. And if you really are concerned about if your face eats blush um, like mine does, I uh, like to top them off with a powder in the same shade, a powder blush. Today, I just wore it by itself. But, um, you know, in the summertime, I do top it off with a powder blush most likely because I just want that staying power because my face tends to just gobble up. Um, blush uh mascara this was a surprise to me a lot of people did tell me about it though it's jordana's um best slash extreme and it was my first time trying it when i did it in the uh used it in the chopping block and i was really really excited about it it's a great mascara this one came i had to get this one out of my purse this is the brush one and i'll tell you what i figured out because you know in the chopping block reviews i tell you how it worked best for me for me the way this one worked best if i just took one that and used that on my eye and that's it 
go in again and use all of that on my eye. You know, I can't re-dip and, and keep going because that's when it would clump up on me and not work as well. So good for very, very inexpensive mascara for like two or three bucks, fantastic. Okay, there are more mascaras. I found so many good mascaras during the chopping block videos. This is mo the most recent one. It's Lash Domination by Bare Minerals. And that's what I have been using quite a bit of lately. It is such a good mascara. Brings out lashes I didn't know I had. It is just fabulous. Somehow this brush is able to get at the very root of your lashes and you pull it up and it just brings out lashes you probably haven't seen with other mascaras you've used. That's why I'm in love with her. Um, it's really, really good a mascara. Um, there's some double sets for the holidays that they're coming out with where you can get a large one and a mini one for your purse and uh, it's the price of like a large one. So a uh, really, really cool way to try it out if you like to have a little mascara in your purse as well. Another really good mascara that I'm in love with and I use today is Dior's Iconic Over Curl Mascara. Now this is the perfect mascara for a lazy girl because this curls your last lashes really, really well and that way if you don't do that step, which I usually skip of um, curling your lashes first, you're good. The mascara wand is a little bit curved, but when you get this all over your lashes, again, it brings out good, you know, lashes that you probably might not have seen before. Not as much as the, um, there are minerals, but this curls them so they look even fuller and thicker and more beautiful. So I love this stuff. I just talked about this, but it was a, a different color. Urban Decay Zodiac. Um, this is one of their uh, moon dust shadows. Love this, love this, love this. And you guys told me I've been using it dry on my finger and put, you know, just smoothing it on my eye. The color is gorgeous. Um, but I've been just using it like that. But a lot of you guys told me to wet my finger and then put it on. And I still have to try that. But thanks for the tip. These are like 20 bucks each and just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I got Zodiac and the one that I showed you the other day is uh, something dog, something dog. Anyway, I love that. It's really, really good. Um, it's really nice in moderation to use. Like I've used it with that Bobbi Brown Forest and then put a little bit of that on. Gorgeous look. All right, next, a nail polish. These came out from Maybelline, and I've been seeing them in permanent displays, you know, at Walmart and my CVS, so I'm thinking it is permanent. I wasn't sure before, but this is the um, polka dot line, and this is clearly spotted number 75. I got like three of these, but this is the one. You can use this alone or over like a gray nail polish. It looks fabulous. It looks great. I like using it alone. I just put on a primer. Or no, a base coat, sorry, <laughs> on my nails. And then this, gorgeous, one coat. One coat I do. Sometimes I do two, but one coat. But I've been using that a lot since I got it, and it's really, really pretty. I love this stuff. This is L'Oreal's. This is the Lalique. And I have a blog post on this, and I'll put it below. But I think you can get the idea of how it looks. Um, this is number 412, Lacquerized, and I love her. Um, these are limited edition, which I think is so unfair. And I got, ended up getting like five different colors, I think. Yeah, five different colors. They have mattes. I'm not a fan of those. I got four, um, yeah, I think I have four of these, uh, the Liliques that are the glossy colors. And I have one matte one that I'm not so crazy about. But I love these. So, so gorgeous. Can't even say more about it. Now this, I don't know if, I think this might be limited edition, but I got to tell you about it because I got two of them. One is in my purse, one is on my vanity, and I wear this out. It's a wet and wild um, gloss in a tube. It's called Hot, 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 and it's a perfect pout lip gloss, and I love it. It is the perfect thing to put on your lips when um, your lips are sore, when your lips are dry, when you want to prep them the next day for, um, you know, wearing regular lipstick. I love this stuff. It's always in my purse. If my lips are feeling so sore, I just throw this on. And it is like pretty Vaseline, basically. It's pretty Vaseline. All right, this. A lot of people talk about these, and I love this one that I have. I only have one. Um, this is the uh, ha Hourglass uh, Lighting Powder in Radiant Light. It is gorgeous. This is, like the, I think, the only one that I need. Um, they have a new holiday set with three colors in it, and I believe Radiant, this one, is one of them. It's just the perfect highlight. It gives you that. It gives you a nice highlight. If you're afraid of highlighters, and you always hear me talk about them, but you're just not doing it, this is a great one to start out with, a very expensive one, but a great one to start out with because this is going to look natural on you. So that's what's so cool about it. I think it's it's very natural looking. And last but not least is Tom Ford's uh, 
lip color shine in willful and i've worn this so freaking much i have a, a blog post on this too i'll link it below if you want to see what it looks like on my lips it's just the perfect orange i called these when i reviewed them the most the best lip butters ever and for 40 something dollars a lip butter i know that's hilarious i know it i know it girl i'm with you on this but it is like the best lip butter ever and i have two of them that's it for me um i'm glad they don't have more colors because i go into the poor house trying to get them but best lip butter ever i stand by that <laughs> All right, guys, I hope this was cool. I just wanted to kind of do a roundup of everything that I still use and really, really ended up loving from all seven versions of uh, the Chopping Block. So check out Chopping Block number eight. I already put the haul up, and the review will be coming in days. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.